Hey, it's Shirley Neiser with another Tuesday tip live from Forrester. Here's Shirley McBeth. Shirley, what is your tip on helping sort of, you know, pipelines are challenging right now. How do we move things through the funnel? I think in this moment in as economic recession and challenging times, it's really important to get to the value first. One of the things we just did is a study of the total economic impact of what we do. Providing that to sales is gold. So I think cutting to the chase of helping people make a business decision is providing that economic impact. All right, economic impact, that is tip number one, and we're gonna keep going. All right, Alan, what is your tip? My tip is love your customers, customer-led growth. Look at your net retention and look at the number of customer promoters that bring you new business. And that's your future customer growth for your company. Uh, it makes total sense in a down economy. We've got to hug our customers, hang on to them, and maybe help them uh, grow and maybe we'll grow along with it. Okay, Absolutely. great. Olga Noha. Olga, what's your tip? remove friction on uh, every stage of the pipeline from the very first interaction uh, of the customer with the, your brand till uh, the very last uh, steps of your collaboration with the customer. Make it easy for them to work with you. Take care of, uh, about their interests and uh, make it a really smooth journey for them. All right, we're just gonna make it so darn easy for them to buy. Okay, Gabby Ziderfeld, what is your tip? My tip is that if you're not already doing this, do a lead clinic with your sales team. You can ask them to get prepared in advance and have them deep dive on what they think their best customer is. Perfect. Sold in recent years. All right, yeah. so we're gonna make sure that we are looking at that the, the leads that we have in the pipeline are actually really genuinely good leads. Yeah, and how do you reach them? How do you get them? Got it. All right, Lauren Schwartz, what's your tip? So my tip is, you know, if you've got them in the funnel, you want to make sure that they understand what their peers are doing. So make sure you can enable on the marketing side all the stories that they can tell each other. Find ways to get those out there digitally and other formats, create forms for them to talk to each other. But that's who they need to hear from it, when, it oftentimes it, when they're stuck in the pipeline. So when they're stuck in the pipeline, make sure that prospects are talking to customers. Exactly. Got it. Sarah Larson. Hello. My tip is help your sales teams understand their opportunity health. Go through some opportunities. Are they talking to the right people? Do they have the right power in the account? Do they have the right pain points? No, using your knowledge of the solution and positioning, are you helping solve those pains? So really help coach your sales team on opportunity health. Yeah, and so we're, we're coaching sales no matter what. We're helping them along. We're not just saying, off you go, go do your thing. We're coaching them. Okay, Lori Mitchell, what's your tip? Yeah, my tip is work closely with your sales leadership and identify some new opportunities to go after maybe things you didn't think were going to close or, you know, our team recently did a call out campaign and they got a ton of pipeline right out of existing customers. So wait, they use the phone. Yeah, they use the phone like old school. <laughs> wow. All right. That's a creative pipeline solution for 2023. Kevin Ruain, what's your tip? Uh, my tip is just to get back to basics, create some small in-person events and forums where customers can hear from another customer, an analyst uh, who's familiar with similar challenges that they're facing and progress opportunities that way. I love it. We're going to bring people back together again, kind of like we are here. Exactly. Awesome. Chris Willis, what's your tip? Well, a lot of people have had ideas that have to do with sales and marketing, and that's fantastic. But you're in the executive team. Expand your purview. Reach out into the rest of the organization, find ways to create new product, new offerings, new things that are gonna bring in different parts of your audience. Engage, we have all this pipeline, how do I move it forward? Let's activate that pipeline with new things that are going to excite the audience. And that's really an interesting part of it as a creative solution because you're not just taking the product that you have and leaving sales, you're actually creating product to really make the pipeline real. Exactly. Okay, Andres Rossello, bring us home. My recommendation would be to lose fast. So take a look at the pipeline, clean out what's not likely to win, and let's focus our efforts on those opportunities that are real. Yeah, it seems like so much time is wasted on a lot of things that look like opportunities that are really not. Particularly in today's time when buyers are, are cautious. Let's move on. All right, well, speaking of moving on, that's your Tuesday tip. I'm Drew Neiser. If you're a B2B CMO who can share, care, and dare with the best of them, check out cmohuddles.com. Peace out.